back to my channel of Lady. So today's video is going to be an old school what's in my bag. I'm so glad that these videos are coming back onto my timeline. I love being a little nosy and seeing what everyone is carrying around with them. I've made a few what's in my bag videos before that I will link in the cards and down below if you're interested um, in seeing some different bags, including my backpack for college. This is the Marc Jacobs pedal to the metal Natasha bag. This was so popular in like 2009 and 20. 13 so like rachel bilson was wearing it sarah michelle geller like a lot of celebs were wearing it it's kind of like slouchy boho and that was like my dream bag so i was at that time in grad school in new york city and i wanted this bag so badly but it was not in the grad student budget um, but i was able to find it on poshmark for a amazing deal and you can find a lot of these on the resale market in a lot of different colors. I have it in the camel and this one looked like the person never like used it. It was in perfect condition. And I'm so glad to have like my young adult teenage dream come true. Just the bird hardware on it is so cool. It's very like Portlandia, like put a bird on it. So it's very like of the time, but I still feel like very fall boho and I just love it. The leather is so nice. It has so many different pockets. Yeah, I have a little cowboy Hello Kitty on it. My sister and I always send each other the different like grab bags of different like Sanrio characters. And I've been getting more into like the bag charms lately. I really want a Laboo I've like heard the hype about it and now I really want one. And there are some Pop Mart stores near me in the Seattle area and I'm tempted to like nosy around and see but I know that those are sold out but right now I have my little Hello Kitty and so yeah let's dig in what's in my bag so on this back compartment there's just like a little like slouchy magnetic part and this is where I keep my cell phone so that's where I keep it in here I don't keep anything in the front pocket, which is also a magnet. I don't keep anything in this. This is really cool, but this whole thing zips. But I don't really keep anything in here. This would be good if you were traveling and wanted to make sure no one could get in the bag because this is like the zippered compartment, but I don't keep anything in there. And really everything is just in the big. Um, sack part here and it has like a couple of little cell phone pouches which would not fit you know a modern day cell phone and it has a little zipper back pouch typical so yeah let's dive in i have a lot of a lot of fun goodies in here so in the little cell phone pockets that were more designed for like a flip phone I have my uh, card case, my wallet with all my driver's license, credit cards, all of that. This is the YSL card case. I love it. I love that it's so small because then I can fit it into some of my smaller purses. I can throw it in my pocket if I don't want to carry my purse around. Um, so there's that. I have my AirPods. Never know when you want to listen to some music. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter in Iced Coffee. I have so many lip products in this bag, even though I feel like I'm all the time forgetting to put on lip products, but I have a million. Um, so here is that. So that's like the one I am have more easy access to. And I have a bunch of loyalty cards for Elliott Bay. That's like the local indie bookstore and I need to redeem these because I think I have like a ton of free books with those and I have so many of the different cards because I hadn't been carrying them around with me in my purse and then I would have to get a new stamp card. A pack of Kleenex. 
I always need some tissues with me. You never know when you're gonna have a good cry. I have another Hello Kitty item. This is a Bagu reusable grocery bag. I just saw this print and I couldn't resist. Let me, you need to see the full, you have to see the full thing. But of course, it's always good to have a reusable bag. You never know. Like sometimes if I know I'm going to the grocery store, I'll carry one, but you never know when an impromptu trip or purchase comes up. So yeah, this just so cute. Has them all like in their little town. Kuropi's driving the ice cream truck. Bad Bats Maru is in the popcorn. And these are so durable, so I find that I can even put in like heavier things in there, which is useful. So that's my little bagu, and it just folds right up in there. Um, I have not cleaned out this purse, so I have two pairs of sunglasses. I always have to have sunglasses with me, even in the fall winter time it's just I get migraines and sun is one of my like biggest sensitivities I joke that I'm a vampire um, so usually I have like my Ray-Ban Club Masters these are like my go-to default sunglasses and in a FabFitFun box a few seasons ago I got these Lisbeck sunglasses just for like a bit of a different look they're a little bit more 90s a little bit like skinnier and I like the brown acetate um, look around these so I have those in there too so that I'm never without sunglasses because I will get a headache I have a book whenever I have my bigger purse with me I will carry a book around I just I'm not like reading in the most random places, but I like to take the bus a lot to get around. And so if I know I'm gonna go on a bus ride to go like downtown or somewhere, then I will read a book. And right now I'm reading Norwegian Wood. I just posted a video about all of like my bookish thoughts and chatting. And I talk about this one a little bit there and some other books that I'm reading if you are a book lover like me. So this is my current fall winter read. Oh, and my bookmark in it is like a little tarot card. So that's kind of fun. Hand sanitizer. So this is Touchlands. What flavor is this? I think this is like blue sandalwood. I love this hand sanitizer because it just is so slim. They have so many different scents. Um, it's a bit probably overhyped. You really don't need Touchland hand sanitizer, but the mist is just so fine and nice. Oh, it smells so good. So yeah, I like this blue sandalwood scent. Oh, I was just looking and I do have some earrings at the bottom of my bag. There's like fun gold hoops. These are from Vibe Season. They're just like costumey jewelry, but those are fun. Didn't know I had those in there. So then the last big piece of my purse is the pouch within the purse. And this is like makeup-y related things, like any like emergency type stuff. Um, I just got this little mesh black bag from Daiso, my favorite store. They have the best pouches. If you need a pouch for anything, check out Daiso. And I have this um, key ring on it that my sister made me a little mushroom I put it on just to like dress it up a bit so let's dig into this bag this I think is where like all the fun stuff that people have in their purses where I'm like I never thought to carry that around with me but let's dig in there's a lot of things that can fit in this little guy so like I said I am always carrying around lip products even though i forget to keep wearing them. So I have a uh, Kosa's lip oil. I think this was like a birthday Sephora gift. I really like this um, color and texture of this one. Let me try to find all my lip products. I also have Summer Fridays lip oil. I think this is in the shade Rosewood. Rosewood Nights. Oh, I love that. I love that name so much. And this is like a darker, um, brown with like a slight mauve to it. 
So if I want to go for a little bit of a different look. So yeah, then that means these were the three lip products I had in here. I did clean out some of the other ones like a, while, a little bit ago, some of my more summery. These are all very like similar colors, but a little different. I have Trader Joe's green tea mints. These are little matcha mints. They are so good. I love carrying these around. And every time I'm at Trader Joe's, I always like add one of these at the checkout line. I have a little lotion. This is Necessaire's body, the body lotion. But I probably use this more as like a hand cream in my bag or any, um, especially for like fall and winter, you might have like some dry skin. Why am I applying it now? This is just gonna be, I don't know, I was just so tempted, but the little mini of that. I love little mini beauty products. All right, next, I'm telling you, there's so many little things in here. Okay. Next, I have a uh, hand mirror. This is from Tatcha. It has this like gold leaf on this side and then a mirror here. And it's in a little uh, purple pouch to protect it. Half the time I'm using my phone as a mirror, just like looking at it in selfie mode, checking things out, but it's nice to have like an actual mirror. I have a little pack of mini nail files. I hate whenever I have a nail break when I'm like in public or out and about and like it's hanging off and I don't wanna like rip it off and end up making it worse, but I have nothing to file it down. Um, so I like to carry these around. Sometimes if I'm in a smaller bag, I'll just rip off one of these from the little like matchstick style and throw that into a little purse. Speaking of nails, I also have a cuticle oil pen. This is new, I haven't tried, oops. I haven't tried this, um, I've tried C&D solar oil before, but I haven't tried their pen yet. Um, I had one before my bag that I think was from just like CVS, but just any cuticle oil pen. It's winter, your hands are getting drier. Similar to like having a, to file your nail right away. Sometimes if you get like dry skin there, like I don't want to like peel it or anything in public. So having, being able to hide, keep hydrated is key. I have a little spray bottle of rose water. This is the Trader Joe's um, rose water facial spray. And I put it in a little Muji container. It just has like the finest mist on it. And I just used my little label maker to label it. I feel like I use this more probably like in the summer to refresh, but hydration is always nice to have. And I like to have that with me. I also have the Super Goops Resetting um, Sunscreen Powder. I love this stuff. This has a lot of like mixed reviews on Sephora, but I really like it. Um, I kind of just like, you, like stamp it on. So like I'll do it here just to give some like additional sun protection. Even in the fall and winter, you need to wear your sunscreen. I always forget, I'm really bad about wearing sunscreen, but at least having this here, even though it's not perfect, is a little better than nothing. I think I need a new one of these though. This one's looking a little grubby. Another face product, I have the Fenty Blush. This is in Peach Face. I think I also, Got this in a fat fit fun. This also then has a little mirror in it. Um, and this is just like a pretty corally color. Just, you know, blushes, blushes that like makeup product of the moment. And so it's nice to be able to reapply it. And I feel like even if I start with a different blush in the morning, uh, this color kind of like works with everything and blends out really nicely and has a really good texture. So keep that in there. And it's like a little small compact size. I also have a This Works Stress Check Roll-On, a little like um, essential oil. Oh, it smells so nice. Uh, little roller ball, it's like in the teeniest little size, so it doesn't take up much space. And then, but I also have a fragrance, and I keep this in the box because I'm just afraid that the little glass file will break, but this is Boy Smells Wood For You. I usually am not reapplying perfume out and about, but it's, again, it's just something nice to have. Just a little perfume sample in here. So I just love collecting little minis. And I have a uh, 
fashion tape. Why do I have a, I think, I think this was another thing like I was traveling and I like brought it to wear with like a dress I was wearing at a wedding and I needed some extra tape in case something, you know, was popping out. So I have a little fashion tape, which I guess is good because even like I'll use these to hem like a work pant that has like lost its little like stitching. So that actually is probably something pretty good to have for any like potential wardrobe malfunction. So I have a fashion tape in there. So that is everything that I have in my purse. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Let me know down below what's an essential that you keep in your purse. I would love to know, like I said, I love watching these videos. I love just seeing what little things everyone has so that I can make sure to add some things into my purse and check some different products and brands out. Cause I just love little things, little trinkets, little minis. And I think a purse is a great way to kind of like use those little teeny beauty products. So yes, let me know your purse essential down below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you all next time. Bye.